Hey guys, how you doing? Today we're gonna be having a look at the riffs from Red Flag by Slipknot. Now, tuning for the song is Drop A. Now, that is Drop D, tune down, five half steps. However, I'm sporting light cow strings on this guitar, so we're gonna be having a look at this in Drop D exactly as it would be played in Drop A. So, with that in mind, guys, let's have a look at the main riff. Alright guys, so we're going to be having a look at the octaves and then at the rhythm guitar that comes in. Here's how the octaves go. Now I'm playing these octaves on the 3rd string. You can play them on the 4th string or even on the 5th string if you wish to do so. You know, that will be a little bit higher, but if that's what you're comfortable with, then go for that. I'm going to be showing you these on the 3rd string. Like I said, you can move them around if you wish to do so. Now the octave shape on the 3rd string is essentially going to be... We're going to be starting off on the 8th fret. Alright, so that's 8th fret of the 3rd. And then we'll play the octave on the 1st string, the 11th fret. So the... The, the second string in between will be muted with the flesh of the index finger. And you want to hit those two notes, the root and the octave, together. Alright, that's what we're going to be dealing with here, just the shape moving around. So what we're going to start off with is... So we're going to hit... The octave on the 8th fret of the 3rd, three times, and then we'll go back and hit the 7th fret once, so... You're going to hold it there for a second before you hit that again, going... So after you hit it again, you're going to go to the 8th fret and hit it over there, slide to 10, go back to 8, and then hit 7. So that will go... So all together what we would have is... After you go back to 7, you hit it initially, you're gonna wait for a bit and then you strum it five times, so... Alright, that's pretty much the entirety of this. You will just repeat this on and on and on. Now, at the end, you kind of gonna notice there's gonna be a little bit of a pause before, like, the vocals kind of come in. And, uh, this is essentially going to be like this. So essentially, you're just not going to do the, the five strums at the end. After you hit the seven, you're just going to mute everything and cut everything off. And that's pretty much the octave part. And whenever it plays in the song, it's going to be just the exact same deal. So that's pretty much that. Let's have another look at it slowly with some tabs. Then we'll have a look at the rhythm. Alright guys, now when the rhythm guitar comes in, it's pretty simple, it's essentially the same thing we're doing with the octaves, just much much slower, and we're going to be dealing with one note at a time, rather than two notes. Alright, so here's how it goes. Alright, so we're going to be hitting the first fret of the sixth string, we're going to do that three times, and then we hit the open. Again, this is the same rhythm we're dealing with with the octaves. Now we're gonna hit the open again and then play the first fret, slide to three, back to one, and then pull off to zero. And now we're gonna do five hits on the open. Again, same idea we have over here. And like again, again, once again, like we have in the octaves, when that pass comes in, it's also gonna be at the same point. So you wanna do. You just want to cut everything, that's pretty much that. Alright guys, now this riff is going to be played many many times, just uh, kind of like the pause version of it, you know, with the, with the rest at the end of the measure. You're just going to go... Alright, just pretty much that. It's pretty much the, the same ver the same riff, just with the, with the rest at the, at the end, alright? And you just play that on and on and on. And that will be pretty much that. Mm -hmm. 
All right, now at some point in time, there's gonna be kind of like some palm eating done at the end of this roof. All right, it's gonna be changed up a little bit. It's gonna go like this. And this is essentially just uh, the same thing, except you're gonna be palm eating those five hits at the end. And that's pretty much that. It's not really that complicated. Alright guys, let's have a look at the next riff, and this is essentially going to be dealing with a lot of power chords here, here's how it goes. And that's pretty much that, uh, what we're doing here is, we're going to hit the 8th fret of the 6th string power chord. And then we're going to chuck down on the palm meter 6th and then 5th string. And that's pretty much the, 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 the theme we're going to be doing here, it's always going to be, you hit a power chord and then you palm mute the 6th and then 5th string, it's gonna be all power chords on the 6th string, so it's essentially just doing the same thing over multiple frets, alright? So we're gonna do it on the 8th fret and then the 7th fret, 5th fret, 4th fret, now we're gonna do the 3rd fret and the 2nd fret, but these are gonna be a little bit quicker, so you're kind of amping up speed at the end, so it will go something like this. Alright, up to speed. Now the next part Essentially we're gonna go 8, 7 And then 3 Now open Now we'll have the quick uh, 3, 2 at the end So Alright, so the second part would be Putting them both together slowly and then up to speed Now up to speed. Alright, and that's pretty much that riff. That uh, most of the time, whenever this plays, just it will play twice, and then it will, will move on to the next riff. Alright guys, now let's have a look at this cool little riff, it goes like this. That's pretty much the riff, we're gonna be sliding into 8th of the 6th string. We're gonna give it some nice vibrato and then we're gonna play 7-5, so that will go. And now we're gonna do... We're gonna play open, 1, slide to 3 and then back to 1. And then open, and then one, so it'll go... Now we're gonna go over to seven, and we're gonna do some nice legato action, so we're gonna have some hammer-ons and pull-offs. I'm gonna pick seven once, and then I'm gonna do... So we're going seven, eight, seven, five, and then uh, seven, five again, so... All in one pick, and then we use our left hand to kind of do the work. Then we're gonna go back to 4 with our index, pick it, and then hammer on to 5. And we're gonna repeat that twice, so we'll have... Excuse me. Alright, so that's pretty much the brief, let's go over it again. Alright, now at some point in time, the roof is gonna cut off at the end, so essentially what you'll do is... Uh, around the end, when you're doing the... For the second time, instead of playing it in full, you're only gonna do... You're gonna do 7, hammer on to 8, pull off to 7, and then 5, and then once you hammer on to 7 again, you're just gonna cut everything off there, so... Alright, that's pretty much what you do, so the, the full kind of ending variation of this would go like this. And this, I believe, only happens once in the song, alright?
All right, that's pretty much that. All right, guys, let's have a look at that cool breakdown real quick that goes. All right, now what we're going to have here essentially is just seven fret power chord on the sixth string. And then we palm mute, uh, just kind of like we had from before. We're going to be palm muting a sixth and fifth string. So same deal with the eighth fret on the sixth string power chord. Fifth fret, back to the eighth fret. So we have now after that we're gonna have some tremolo picking going on here. It's gonna be palm muted, and now this is pretty fast. Uh, you don't really wanna kind of count everything slowly, but if we were to be specific, essentially it's go something like uh, eighth fret on the fifth twice, seventh fret once, uh, once, and then uh, fifth fret twice, and then seven five four. So. And then uh, up to speed, that would go like. All right, but like I said, you don't really want to like uh, w because you're doing this. It's kind of like just terminal picking. You're not gonna be thinking how many times you're picking each note every time. You just kind of do it uh, to a specific rhythm. All right, so we have. And that's pretty much that, guys. That riff is going to repeat over and over again. And at some point, the riff is going to change up. And we'll go over that after we have a look at this slowly with some tabs. All right, guys, so the next riff is going to go like this. Pretty simple. Again, it's just the same thing over and over again. We're going to hit the fifth fret of the sixth string power chord and then we'll palm mute. Just like we had all, all over the song. Same idea. Now, eighth fret, seventh fret, first fret. Now, we'll hit open power chord and then the fourth fret power chord just going. So, we have... All right, and that's pretty much that. Now, around the end of the song, uh, technically when the outro comes in, we'll have variation of this riff. And here's how the variation goes. The only difference is, is that at the end, when you're doing the zero four, you're instead gonna do this. So we're kind of gonna be doing a, a quicker version of what we had from before. So just uh, open power chord, palm muted, fourth fret power chord, and then palm muted. And it would go like this, essentially. Up to speed. Alright, and you just repeat that on and on. Uh, now, at the very, very end, you're gonna hear just a little chord sliding out. That's gonna be the fifth fret of the fifth string. So, coming out from the riff before, it would go like this. And that's pretty much that, guys. That's the entirety of the song. Let's have another look at this riff slowly with some tab. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this lesson for the riffs from Red Flag by Slipknot. Be sure to check out the playlist down below for more Slipknot lessons from the new album. And if you have requests, leave in the comments below whether it's a riff lesson or a soul lesson. And happy shredding guys!